Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about packing cubes versus compression bags. I personally use both for different reasons and depending on the trip that I'm going on. So I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of each product so you can decide on which one you will use for your upcoming trip. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, a packing cube is essentially a bag that is used to organize your suitcase or your backpack, whatever you choose to travel with, and just have everything in its own designated space. They come in so many different colors, styles, and sizes, and you can buy them online on Amazon, or if you want to go in store, you can go to your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls in their travel section, or go to your local travel store. So I've been using packing cubes for years, and I absolutely love them because you just know what everything is when you're traveling. I just hate when I go somewhere and I'm just like going through my suitcase and pulling everything out just to find one specific item with packing cubes I just know where everything is located and whatever I need I just take out and then put back in and just know where everything is at at all times not only do I use packing cubes to organize my clothing but I also like to use them for my camera gear or electronics when I'm traveling if I have a lot of USB cords or chargers and memory cards I like to put them in a small packing cube so I know where everything is at and they're not just all over the place <laughs> So if you've never heard of a compression bag slash space bag, it's another way to organize your stuff when traveling with a suitcase or a backpack. They come in two forms. One comes with a vacuum seal and the other one does not, but they do the same thing where they just squish down and compress everything into a flatter surface and suck the air out. So if you want to purchase them, you can go online on Amazon to get them or if you want to go in store. I've only seen them at Bed Bath & Beyond, so you can check that out. I started using compression bags last year on my trip to Russia for the FIFA World Cup. I was there for one month and I was only able to bring a carry-on suitcase, so I didn't know what to pack because we were going to different cities that had different climates so I had to pack for those different climates and I was able to pack light jackets sweaters and dresses they were all able to fit in a compression bag and fit in my carry-on suitcase which was amazing and I feel like compression bags are a game changer for traveling and I love that you're able to just pack more and have more room in your suitcase which is great for an overpacker like me i like to have options so it's a yay for me also you can use compression bags not only for traveling but if you are at home and you have like a smaller apartment or a smaller space you can put your clothes that you are not using in your closet into space bags and just put it away somewhere where it's not taking up a lot of space because it just stores everything really nicely <laughs> Now for the cons. Packing cubes are great, but it all boils down to what type of packer you are, the destination that you'll be traveling to, and what kind of luggage that you'll be bringing for this trip. Now, what I mean by this is that I feel like packing cubes can be a bit bulky if you are traveling with a carry-on suitcase or a smaller backpack. I feel like packing cubes may not be the best idea to use because they can be bulky in the sense that if you are using a lot of these packing cubes to pack your stuff, you may not have room for other things in your suitcase or in your backpack and they just take up a lot of space if you are using a lot of them or if you're stuffing your packing cube with a lot of things. It depends on where you're going. If you're going on a shorter term trip, packing cubes are fine. But if you're going on a longer trip, I feel like packing cubes may not be the best for carry-on suitcases but for a checked-in suitcase. It's obviously larger and you have more room. If you are going to a destination that is a more tropical, your clothes are much lighter so you are able to get away with using packing cubes because your clothes are lighter. But if you are going to a destination that's a bit colder, clothes are more bulkier and I feel like it doesn't work well with packing cubes in my opinion. But if you are a person who packs normal and lightly, then I feel like packing cubes are great for that. But it just all depends on the type of person you are when it comes to packing where you're going and the type of luggage that you'll be using. So the cons for the compression bag are a bit different and you have to keep a few things in mind. If you're going to be using a vacuum sealed compression bag, you have to keep in mind your accommodation. What I mean by this is that if you have a vacuum sealed compression bag and no vacuum available, you're going to have an issue repacking your stuff. Your compression bag won't get as flat as it once was when you first packed because you don't have the vacuum to suck all the air out. So when I was in Russia, I knew I was going to be staying in a lot of Airbnbs and there were vacuums available. So I knew that wasn't going to be a problem. That's a good thing to note. 
but if you're going to be using a compression bag that doesn't need a vacuum you're fine and this isn't an issue another con with the compression bags is that your clothes may come out wrinkled or creased i tested this out when i went to russia i used one compression bag using the rolling method and the other i just stuffed it in there and both did come out a little bit creased and wrinkled but if your accommodation provides an iron you're able to get all the wrinkles and creases out that way but if your accommodation doesn't provide an iron you can just pack a wrinkle release spray and spray it onto your clothes and try to get the wrinkles out i also want to mention that you can pack with both of these products you can use half of your suitcase with compression bags and the other half with packing cubes or half of your suitcase using the rolling method and the other half with packing cubes or compression bags it's just all up to you at the end of the day all of these products are really great for organizational purposes when traveling i honestly love both products and i continually use both products when traveling just for different reasons and i hope this video gave some clarity on which ones to use for what type of trip hope you guys enjoyed this video i thought it was really helpful please let me know in the comments down below whether you like using compression bags or packing cubes when traveling i have all the products mentioned in this video linked down in the description box don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video ciao